and welcome to Big Bore Knife and Gear. Today we're going to talk about Monterey Bay knives. Uh, and in particular, we're going to talk about the sprocket. Uh, been uh, wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while. They've been out for, I want to say at least a year, maybe pushing two now. And every time I go on their webpage, they're almost always sold out. And uh, the other day, lo and behold, I just happened to click on it and scroll through, and they were back in stock. So I uh, I got one. This is how it comes in the box. It comes in this great uh, pouch, zipper pouch. We'll get that out of the way and go over that in a minute. In the pouch comes this uh, really nice microfiber cloth. And then after I ordered it, I messaged them and said, hey, would you mind throwing in a couple of couple of stickers or some swag and they said hey no problem so I was very very uh, happy when I opened it up and got this uh, really cool Monterey Bay Knives patch and uh, for all you kiddies out there if you're watching cover your eyes <laughs> and a couple of wonderful wonderful stickers very cool very very cool anyhow let's get this off the table and we'll dive into this knife this one is mine. This is the one I chose to get. They do have two versions, titanium with carbon fiber or a full titanium version, uh, which is going to look something just like this. This one is on loan for uh, to me from my buddy Peter, uh, also known as a therapeutic edge, so that I could do a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison between the two. So uh, let's get into some specs and then we'll go over this beauty. Uh, again, this is the Monterey Bay Knives Sprocket. This is a Jerry McGinnis design. Um, currently, right now, they are still available on their website uh, for $225. Either version and both versions are available. So we got an overall length on this uh, 7 and 3 quarters inches. We've got a blade length of 3 and a half inches. Blade thickness of 0 0.160 inches or 4 millimeters for you metric guys out there. Blade steel on these are M390. Blade style is kind of like a uh, oh, modified drop point with a beautiful recurve in there. Blade finish on these, uh, stone wash. Frame lock design. Uh, and again, this one is uh, titanium lock side, carbon fiber show side, whereas this is full titanium. Uh, and the weight on these coming in at, well, on this one anyhow, three and a half ounces. Uh, I think this one's going to weigh just a bit more. Uh, my apologies, I did not do a comparison weight, but since my hands are calibrated, I say this is probably you know, 3.75, 3.8 ounces, so not a whole, whole lot heavier. All right, let's get into the good. Ergos, actually... Let's look at this beautiful show side. I am a sucker for carbon fiber, and let me tell you, the carbon fiber on this is done beautifully. Pretty much void free from what I could see, uh, with the exception of one little tiny spot right there where the uh, pivot screw is. The texture on this is done very well, very, very well rounded, super smooth on both the titanium and the carbon fiber side. I really love the holes through the blade, speed holes, whatever, or through the scales, uh, whatever you want to call them, speed holes. It just looks absolutely beautiful on this knife. Scale side, or excuse me, lock side is done extremely well. Uh, this is, um, whatever you want to call it, blasted, orange peeled, uh, really helps to cut down on not only fingerprints, but uh, slight blemishes like snail trails. Has a beautifully done pocket clip that uh, glides in and out of pocket very well. Flipper tab on this one is done extremely well. You can push button it oh. or light switch it. The uh, preferred method on this one, as I found, is... Uh, light switching. You'll have to forgive me folks. I've got big hands. This is a smaller knife and if I'm not careful my finger hits the lock bar and makes it harder to deploy. 
The action on this is incredibly smooth. I mean, look at that. Straight out of the box, this is how it happens. <laughs> the only billboarding on the entire knife is the MBK logo. And then the designer's name on the spine, which I absolutely love. I think that is so classy. You see it with all the Laconico designs. And it just gives an already sexy knife that much more appeal. Just love the way it's done. It does have jimping placed very well. Done very well, I should say, as well, on both the flipper tab and the spine. The uh, cutout for the lock bar is flush, but even with my big old hands, no issues getting to it. They did put this um, little milled texture right there. Really grabs your thumb, makes it super easy to get to, super easy to unlock. Just a fantastic design. Look at that blade shape. Look at that sexy recurve. That nice swedge on the top of the spine there. The cutout for your thumb to rest, which is, if you can see, it lines up, I mean, perfectly. Such a joy to have this in hand. Let's get into Peter's knife. Same exact model. Only difference, full titanium scales as opposed to carbon fiber. Everything else on the knife is identical. Action, phenomenal. The looks are just fantastic. Uh, personally, I, I am a sucker for carbon fiber. I really love the contrast between the titanium and the carbon fiber. Speed holes on this. Again, just the same, beautifully done. You can see right through. I absolutely love that. Action's phenomenal. Just what a great design. What do you guys think? If you guys uh, handled or seen anything from Monterey Bay Knives, uh, I know they do a lot of stuff with Laconico, Ray Laconico. Uh, another fantastic designer. This is in the realm of well, for me, this would be uh, like a gentleman's carry. Not super, uh, not super big. Pretty compact. Absolutely gorgeous. Just fantastic, fantastic knives. Anyhow, that's all I got for you today, folks. Uh, once again, thank you, Peter, for getting that uh, titanium version in my hand. It's beautiful. Uh, Great knives. Uh, everybody, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.